Welcome Aries Taurus to your mid-month reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay. This reading will be taking place from the 21st through the 26th. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Getting past the heartache and the loss. Okay, so whoever hurt you or whatever sadness and disruption and hurt that you're going through, it could be a separation, any kind of heartache and loss, we'll just leave it there. You are definitely starting to get past this um, at this time. It's showing that it is, you know, you're kind of walking out of it, right? Kind of setting it aside, moving past it, healing from it. It says you're kind of in the knowing that you are. You're getting a better understanding of the situation and can clearly see yeah, that you're not going to self-sacrifice for this person anymore um, or to keep yourself in this energy anymore. Um, the waiting game is upside down, so it's saying it is time to start moving ahead. Temptation. Suffering in silence. I'm not sitting there anymore. Yeah, the emotional loss. So whatever emotional loss that you're getting past could be this person. We'll clarify a little bit more. Um, however, it is there is a healing process going on. Everybody's story is a little different um, at this time, but uh, whatever it is that's going on, um, I do see that there could be a little bit of obsession going on within the situation. Um, the obsession could have been the obsession of the excessiveness of holding on to something, holding on to the pain holding on to the loss, and now you're clearly noticing that you're going to, you know, allow this to kind of go, right, healing from this. So there, there's definitely a healing process going on over here about the situation. Um, with the King of Cups, yeah, over emotions, a little bit of disappointment with the King of Swords. So if you were dealing with a, a Pisces, doesn't have to be, or an Aquarius, um, we'll say Pisces for now, take it how it resonates, um, you're definitely getting over the, these emotional states of the situation. I'm not offering yourself any more excessive depression or disappointments about the situation. So definitely um, having better understanding um, to what's going on with the situation um, and not keeping yourself kind of locked up and against a wall, right? <clears throat> with the self-sacrifice, you're saying I'm not sacrificing anything. If you were sacrificing something for someone and they just keep hurting you and hurting you, you're not doing that anymore. You're not going to allow that person to, to keep you um, kind of um, under their foot, under their thumb, something with the situation, or just the energy itself. Okay, Take that how it resonates. You're not going to allow that anymore. Um, because it wasn't allowing you to make decisions or move in the directions that you wanted to um, at that time. Yeah, it was, it feels like at this time right now, it you might even feel like because you're so worried about that situation that right now you're, you're trying to get past, um, that temptation or excessive thinking of that situation. You feel like it's almost like you're in the knowing now that you have been looking at this situation so much that you're not focused on the right things. Um, so now you're, it feels like, yes, you're definitely going to make better decisions and better choices. Um, looking around, being able to multitask a lot better, um, not just thinking about this one area that's been bringing you down um, or that person um, bringing you down, however your loss and heartache is. So really picking yourself up right now um, in this mid-month, really feeling like, you know, everything's going to go the way it needs to go. I need to get focused on what I need to get focused on and not allow this energy to kind of over. When I see the temptation over here, it's excessive. Over, it's an overwhelming um, energy that just, like I said, it keeps you down, um, and not allowing you to move the way you want to move, right? It's a very stuck energy, my friends. So it's really saying that I'm going to be able to focus now and I really want to, um, get back on track, right, of this situation. So within the waiting game, you're not going to wait around anymore. You're going to start moving in the passionate ways that you need to for yourself. Um, not allowing any of that. So 
the communication that you have is going to be a little bit better. Um, I do feel like, you know, there will be brilliant people around you at this time um, to give you, you know, um, either emotional um, I don't, I, I, support. That's a good way of saying it. Emotional support. That's the best way I can say that. And really guiding you and pushing you and helping you push right towards the next level. Um, I also see you, though, also, you know, getting your mind back on track um, to start thinking more knowledgeable um, and more business-like for a lot of you. You might have kind of lost touch with doing business or things like that. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> you're definitely going to uh, start connecting to that. And for those of you who aren't mingling a lot either, um, it does feel like it's a time now where you can start feeling more open um, to actually either start talking about the, the um, healing process that you're doing or just opening up to actually want to talk to people um, because of the emotional loss. So definitely balancing yourself when it comes to the way your emotions are compared to your communication. Um, so there's going to be a lot of contemplating your future goals and stuff like that coming back around. So like I said, because now you're getting back to the place where you're like, okay, I can't have myself over here all the time. I need to really step out of the box and really get back on track. So really finding yourself, you know, getting back to recognition and reward for yourself of where it is you're really wanting to go, using your intuition about the situation and really starting to plan your seeds um, of where you feel this is what needs to happen. So there's really an emotional transfer, kind of a transformation over here as well that's really getting your mind going. And I think it's because your mind was already kind of there, my friends, right? Because you're already using your intuition. So your intuition is kind of telling you, you know you can't stay here forever. Um, and you know, you know this, right? You can clearly see that it's it's taking a toll um, on how you're going. So this month, yeah, so definitely getting back into um, taking the reins um, of the situation within this area of your life, right? So... I do love that. And, you know, towards maybe the beginning of the month of July, you might even become a little more flirtatious. So it's kind of just, you know, if it's a love situation and somebody really hurts you and you don't want to deal with that love anymore, um, you might even find yourself, you know, being a little more flirtatious come, you know, around July, July 4th, you know, where you feel like you're back in the game, right, of love. Um, not allowing people to hurt you, and now it's time to go out, date, and do other things, um, and really start doing connections of that as well, um, putting away this other situation. Um, and for others of you, it's just it's just finding the celebrations and really getting back on track. I do feel like for a lot of you that are in America, this is July 4th, where you're going to find yourself really patiently planning the connections of really feeling really good with family, on July 4th, really having that connection. Um, for others of you, I just feel like this is just going to be the celebrations of going back out with friends, doing things that maybe you've kind of set back on a little bit, and just feeling, you guys, just feeling a lot wholer, right, about the situation. Um, it doesn't mean that all the heartache and loss will be gone, depending on the situation of, you know what I'm saying, of what is actually taking place within your life. Um, but it is definitely thinking about yourself and putting yourself back into the saddle again. Um, and I, you know, and it feels like that's really where you really want to be. Um, and it's taking maybe a, a little longer for some of you to do so, but I love it because it's really showing it's time. I know it's time. I know what I need to do. And I'm patiently planning on how to really get back to myself, right? Instead of allowing this energy to consume me. Now, that's a good word. I said overwhelm earlier, but consume. That's the that's probably a great word. Okay, so. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.